Oh, oh no! <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly. Oh. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most athletic show on the internet. My name is Riley Zone, my useful co-host Graydon. That's right, I can fix it. Today we're putting together imaginary basketball teams. This is our starting fives. So here's how it's gonna work. We've loaded a randomizer full of rappers. We're gonna spin the wheel and whoever we get, we have to put them in a position in our starting five. We're gonna go back and forth and let you decide who crafted the better team, me or Graydon. But it's not just rappers. We're making five starting lineups today. We've got four categories after rappers. All right, before we get into it, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more, hivemindtv.com for our merch. We've also got merch over on Cope's website. It's linked in description. We got that stuff on the screen. Go pick something up. And as always, we've got our Patreon linked in description. It's only $5 a month. It's the best way you can support us. We really appreciate anybody who's joined our Patreon. And we got a cameo link down there if you want a special message from us. All right, let's lace up. All right, so we've got our wheel here. Mm -hmm. It's loaded with wrappers. We're going to spin it. You get first pick. Okay. The first pick of the Hive Mind draft. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, NBA young boy. It's literally in his name. He's down in Louisiana. Shaq played college ball down there. I'm trying to think how tall he is. I know he's not that versatile on the mic, but I feel like he brings some defense and some offense. Definitely a slasher, not a great shooter. NBA young boy. I'm going to put him at my three. Let him be like kind of my wing and D guy, but also gets to the hoop dunk on you a few times a game. Let's look up his height. NBA young boy height. Five foot eight. That's fine. Five foot eight small forward? He's got a seven one wingspan. <laughs> and huge hands. And for my first pick, I've got Denzel Curry. Okay. Okay, very aggressive. An yeah. aggressive player. Absolutely. <laughs> From Florida, uh -huh. great basketball state. It is. How tall is Denzel Curry? 5'9". Nine. 5'9". Nine. All right, I'm going to put him at my one. Okay. I'm going to let him run the offense. All right. Bring the ball up the court. Oh, wait a minute. Any relation to Steph? I mean, let's hope so. Yeah, right? <laughs> you better pray. Get on your knees and pray. All right, here we go. Come on, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly. Oh. oh. Music aside, Machine Gun Kelly has some height on him. We know that. Yes. He's lanky. He's white. He's from Cleveland. He's got Travis Barker as his shooting coach. He's on the court before every game, kind of drumming, warming him up. Yeah. They have like a special warm up drill that they do. I don't want him handling the rock all game. I feel like he's gonna turn the ball over a lot, but he might get beat up down on the block. I'm hoping he can play like a Porzingis role for me. Okay. Kind of knock down some corner three grab some boards, <laughs> block some shots. So a stretch four for you. A stretch four for MGK. Right, here we go. Oh, Ooh. I've got Action Bronson. Not as big as he used to be, but still gonna really bang down on the block. He is short, but he's, he's hefty. Yeah. I'm gonna put him at my four and let him battle MGK. Okay, <laughs> he might get out of place on defense is all I'm saying. Machine Completely. guns fast. Action Bronson does have kind of a lackadaisical <laughs> vibe to him, yeah. you know? But listen, he can cook for the team. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's huge for morale. <laughs> the morale is gonna be high. I mean, the obvious comparison here is gonna be Glenn Big Baby Davis. Absolutely. He's gonna kind of wear a t-shirt on the court. He's gonna bang you on the block, get tired, but adds that energy and is a crowd favorite. You've got DC the Don. Oh, who's a real deal hooper. He played at Chino Hills with the Ball Brothers his last two years of high school. And he's 6'7". Yeah, and we watched him absolutely throw some yammer tins down at the <laughs> Hyper Pop Daily Basketball Regalia tournament. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> DC's got a refined game. I feel lucky to make this pick. I gotta put him at my five. He's probably the biggest guy on this list. It has to be. But he can handle, he can shoot. I saw how he moved down the court. This is like a Magic Johnson LeBron five kind of thing here. Like I'm overloaded with talent that I gotta put him down where size matters. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I've got another Ohio native. I've got Trippy Red. Yeah. Very short. Yeah. Short and does not move well. Mm -mm. Doesn't have a lot of speed, not mm -mm. a lot of agility. Unlimited range, though. That's what I've heard. <laughs> yeah. Shoot the godforsaken lights out of the gym. Yeah, problem is moving up and down the court. Is he even going to be able to get open for a three? I don't know, <laughs> but I am going to have to put him at my two. Yeah. That's just the only spot that makes sense. I don't yeah. trust him at the three. <laughs> not enough lateral movement. Mm -hmm. Just got to put him at the two where his height's going to hurt him the least. Actually, is going to be able to set some big screens for him, too. That might be able to get him open. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to hear my coach talking like you're talking right now. I just drafted him, so, yeah. I mean, we'll 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 get to know each other. Yeah, It'll once he comes right. over for a pool party. Yeah, I'll, get, I'll buy him some tattoos. I'll, I'll give him the trestle treatment. 
Wayne's fourth pick. Oh. You got Post Malone. Now this guy, I know it's in his name, but he can handle the rock. He's named after Carl Malone. That's just his name though. Post is known as one of the best ball distributors in the rap verse. I did not know that. He'll have a breakaway lay, turn around and hand it back. Probably throw it off glass to DC in this situation. Okay. <laughs> Kick it out to MGK for a three ball, try and get some more <laughs> points. Bounce it between his legs as young boys cutting to the lane. Post is gonna be my number one. And he's used to number one. I'll tell you that much. He had a lot of hits. <laughs> For my fourth pick, I've got... You need a center. Oh, <laughs> a dream pick of yours. I do not like how my team is shaping up. I have drafted Lil Xan. <laughs> <laughs> I've got him at the three or the five. I could restructure my team. I could move some people around. That's allowed. That's allowed? Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't trust him at the point guard, but he is also quite short mm -hmm. and has less body than Trippy Red. Yeah. So what I'm going to have to do, regrettably, is move Trippy down to my three. <laughs> <laughs> and Lil Xan can shoot. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen him shooting around on his Instagram story, and he's got a better shot than you'd think. Okay. It's a form I can work with. Yeah. The fundamentals. That's yeah. kind of my thing as a coach anyway. I teach the fundamentals, I leave the rest up to the players. Understood. I am worried about him in the locker room, not only from a character level, but also a respect level from the other players. Yeah. I am worried about the way they are going to look at him as a teammate, but Lil Xan, put on a hide mine jersey. You're our new shooting guard. Hit the weights, Trippy. Here we go. Who is this? Is this Hobo Johnson? <laughs> get oh out. my gosh. <laughs> Oh, Damn it! <laughs> Can I make a draft day trade? N absolutely not. That is not oh. how this works. So obviously Hobo brings a litany of issues to this team that I was <laughs> not anticipating. My guys were able to get over MGK's toxicity, him having a supermodel wife, girlfriend, whatever, him drinking blood. Yeah. We even moved past that. But Hobo brings a lot of baggage. Boos from the stadium are going to be ramped up a little louder. I also want to bring this to your attention. He's a very emotional guy. Yes, I'm aware. Too emotional for the locker room, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm aware. I mean, he doesn't take well to coaching. Yeah. Cannot dribble a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> He's good X's and O's guy. He understands plays. He understands how the offense works. But when he's out there to do it, dead body. See, here's the problem too. Yeah. He's going to think it's cute and quirky if he misses a shot or something. He's going to kind of, you know what I mean? When he makes mistakes, that's good for him. He's yeah. self-deprecating. He's like, oh, look at me, goofy white guy. You yeah. know, you don't want that on your team. You know what I want him to be for us? What? The fowler. <laughs> when the other, let's say Zan's going off, he starts off four for five or something from yeah. deep. I want Hobo to wrap him up. Yep. <laughs> Knock him down. Yeah. Flagrance. Yeah, I feel that. Hobo's going to be my flagrant fouling two guard. Okay. <laughs> You've got three white players. Just want to point that out. I said it looks like Larry Bird's building this team. <laughs> let's see who my last pick is. I didn't think I had a shot, but right now, yeah. I think I might have one against this team. The Hobo's helping. I've got, oh, jeez. <laughs> I've got logic, okay? <laughs> now this looks bad, I understand. This looks bad, it's not who I wanted. I don't have any height on this team uh -huh. whatsoever. Yeah. But logic is a baller. And I don't just mean like physically playing basketball. I mean, this guy, he hits the gym a lot. He's very focused. He solves a Rubik's Cube really fast. It tells me that he's got basketball smarts. Yeah, a pro's pro. He is gonna be the last one to leave the gym after practice. Wow. Okay, he's gonna keep shooting. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Wow. So I'm gonna restructure my entire team here. Okay. First move I'm making, Action Bronson is hitting the center. Yeah. <laughs> All right. A little undersized, but his size will come in handy now. Listen, I am going to have to do the four and five collapse on DC sort of situation. Yeah. <laughs> and for that reason, I'm moving Denzel Curry to my power forward. That makes sense, actually. Yeah. I think he can play both. He's kind of a point forward hybrid. Yeah. <laughs> it's common. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lil Xan, I'm keeping him at the two guard. Again, like I said, amazing shooter. Yeah. He's going to hit threes from 50 feet. A liability on defense, but stays that, hot on offense. That's fine. Logic is running the team. He I like my point guard. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad team, and I give you a lot of credit, because you had a lot of moving pieces. Yeah. I got Post Malone at my one, Hobo Johnson, an absolute liability on this team, a terrible <laughs> basketball player. He's gonna take selfies with people courtside. Yeah. He's gonna write poetry before the game. And not he, good. Yeah, we don't like it. He's gonna hurt ticket sales. Hobo Johnson, kind of the antithesis to Magic Johnson. <laughs> I got NBA Youngboy himself at the three. At the four, I got Cleveland's very own MGK, kind of in a Porzingis role. And DC the Don, six 
foot seven, jump out of the gym at my five. So let us know which team you think is gonna win that one before we get into drafting our next teams. Yes. So let's wipe our boards and start drafting cartoon characters. Oh. <laughs> so the randomizer's loaded with cartoon characters now. I get first pick in this draft. Let's see who you get, buddy. I've got Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. Mm. Lot of height on this guy, age is going to be a problem, and also drinking. Smartest guy in the universe, though. You know what? I don't know how tall cartoon characters are, but I mean, there's probably gonna be some monsters in here, which would be cool. <laughs> but for now, I am gonna put him at a stretch four. Okay. Because I don't trust him at center, he's just too skinny and too drunk. Now, in terms of coaching styles, this universe fits your style much more. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I like an animated style of play. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see who I got here. Big body Naruto. <laughs> Lightning speed, incredible intelligence. This is a dream first pick for any coach. He's going at my number one, and I'm not looking back until we have a championship. <laughs> I am very glad you picked him because I didn't even know who that was when it showed up. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Second pick, I've got. Oh! I've got Peppa Pig. Oh! <laughs> now, now. I am very glad that I put Rick Sanchez at my four because yeah. a lot of people don't know about this, but Peppa Pig is tall as shit. Yeah, an absolute giant. Real quick, can you look up Peppa Pig's height for me? I want to say it's 13 foot six. Are you serious? Seven foot one. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Official height for Peppa Pig, seven foot one. Yeah. I got a Chet Holgrim type character here. Yeah. I'm going to put Peppa Pig down at center and that is going to be tough to beat. Yeah. Big blocks, big rebounds. It's going to be impossible to compete down low with Peppa Pig. Just rooting out bucket after bucket. And British. Not a lot of British players in the league. That's true. I don't think there is one. <laughs> Give me a high flyer. Oh, yes. Oh, you've got Timmy Turner. Yes. Timmy's qualities that he's going to bring to the team are not hype. They're not athleticism, they're not shooting, they're not defense. He is a friend to all. And it's kind of a threefer here too. You get Cosmo and Wanda as well. Yeah, they're gonna clean up messes, they're gonna do people's laundry, you know, they're gonna grant people wishes. Yeah, he's got wishes. Yeah, okay, he wished for a burner. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put Timmy at my two guard here. My backcourt is a little small, but I like Naruto's ability to mentor Timmy. Okay, my third pick. Oh God, I got Shigo. Wow, that's big, that's big. Yes, thank well, you. I gotta give it up for that. I don't remember Shigo's powers from the show, no. but let me say this, I've got a shooting guard here. Absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> has to be a shooting guard. And also, I hope that Shigo designs the jerseys, because I love that green and black combo. True, menacing. It's missing in the in the NBA, too. That's true. Shigo crazy from three. I mean, that's a true shooting guard. Shigo is actually short for shooting guard. <laughs> shooting guard. <laughs> Yes. Oh gosh. Yes. Peter fucking Griffin. <laughs> Naruto, pass me the rock. Peter's versatile. That's what a lot of people don't understand. They yeah. want to say he's a five. He's always been a five. I'm going to put him at my four. Okay. In hopes that I can get someone with the right height to properly match up against Peppa Pig. Yeah. <laughs> because I'll tell you what, if Rick Sanchez can pull out a portal gun, whatever he wants, that's a handful in the post. Yeah. <laughs> also, little known thing about Peter, he's not going to stretch it all the way to the three, but in this off season, I'm going to work very closely with him and he's going to have a mid range game reminiscent of Tim Duncan. <laughs> So look out for Peter to be popping 15 to 16 footers, pick and pop if the roll's not there. It's gonna be a wet Massachusetts clam boil. All right, let's see what I can do here. Needs a point guard. Oh boy, wow. I've got Ash Ketchum. And this is an ideal point guard. This is a guy who knows how to handle balls. And <laughs> this is a guy who really knows how to like assemble a team, really yeah. run a team. Absolutely knows how to command yeah. a crew of cartoon characters. That's kind of his whole thing. And during the off season, you can't underappreciate his ability to recruit other people onto his That's team. What I'm saying. Whether yeah. they want to go or not. Yeah. He's going to catch them and bring them to your team. He's going to put LeBron James in a little cage and drag him to your facility. Now, Ash is kind of like a CP3 type character. Okay. Beats a lot of gym leaders, but never becomes a Pokemon master. He has trouble winning a championship, but mm -hmm. this could be his year. He's yeah. not used to having Peppa Pig down on the block. That's true, or Shigo to pass the rock off to when he gets that <laughs> dreaded double team. I needed someone real good. 
I got Samurai Jack here, and I'm a little worried about this because on my former team, we traded him for cash considerations. Aye, okay. <laughs> Since then, he has blossomed into an all-star, a true <laughs> slasher at the three. He's gonna poke a bunch of holes in your defense, and he might even kill someone in the process. <laughs> I like this pick, I just hope he can get over our pass together. I didn't know you had a team before this. Yeah, Trailblazers, uh, 2014, 2017. I was their assistant coach. All right, for my last pick here. Stewie, 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 Stewie. Oh boy. I got Marceline from Adventure Time. Yeah. Okay. Now, forgive our screen recording, but this is good for my team. <laughs> look at her height. She yeah. is too tall for even the screen recording. Yeah. This is a great three for I me. Know. Perfect to control the middle. Mm -hmm. She can drive down the lane, but sneaky three ball. A KD type character, yeah. but also a great singer. Oh, see, I, I feel like I'm in a lot of trouble here. I have a samurai and a ninja on the same team. Those don't mix well. I yeah. got a big fat guy from Rhode Island and a little fun loving kid with fairies. So <laughs> this is, seems like a toxic gumbo I'm playing with. Let's see if the five can even it out. All right, here we go. Give me some giant. Oh. oh, God. Arguably the most powerful Pokemon of all time, I got Mewtwo. <laughs> can I get a height check on Mewtwo? I need a scouting report. Now. Six foot seven. Nice. Six seven and pretty beefy. And I think the ability to levitate slash fly wherever it needs to go. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The only thing I'm worried about here is your point guard. Ah. Kind of the kryptonite to Mewtwo's potential here. But I'm gonna go with Mewtwo at my five. I think that makes a lot of sense. Even though the sci-fi powers might clash a little better with Rick Sanchez at the four, for height reasons, Mewtwo is my five. And so, oh, oh, so fuckable, that Mewtwo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, thunder thighs on that thing. Absolute skull crackers. <laughs> All right, so these are our final cartoon squads. I got Ash Ketchum at the one. Mm -hmm. I got Shigo at the two. Mm -hmm. I got Marceline at the three. I got Rick Sanchez at the four. And I've got my big beefy center once again, seven foot one Peppa Pig. <laughs> my lineup's looking like Ninja Extraordinaire Naruto at one. I got Timmy Turner at two. I got Samurai Jack at the three. I got Peter Griffin's big fat ass at the four. <laughs> and I got Mewtwo down low, banging with Peppa Pig. All right. So let us know who built a better cartoon team down in the comments, me or Graydon. And let's move on to actors. Oh, yes. Right now, right. this is a group of people I can really get through to. We've got the wheel full of actors and actresses now. The Celebrity All-Star Game. <laughs> Graydon gets first pick in this one. Let's go. Come on, Justin Long. Oh, I got the Cloonster. <laughs> I got George Clooney. <laughs> Silver Fox George Clooney. The ageless wonder. This is LeBron James of acting. He's <laughs> gonna play my three, but he's gonna do whatever I ask him to. Yeah. I'm saying he's like 26, eight and eight all season. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Oh. I have got old man Christopher Walken. <laughs> Skywalking the way he flies to the rim. Absolutely. Now, a lot of people are gonna disagree with my pick here. Okay. I'm putting him at my four. Okay. Okay. Basketball knowledge, off the charts. This yeah. guy is smart, he's wise, he's gonna lead the team mm -hmm. from the block. And from past roles like King of New York, we know him to be a true killer. Pass me the ball. <laughs> I'm going to score. Not really a leading man, but he's a role player. Well, the mid-90s would disagree with you. He was in mid-90s? <laughs> I didn't even know he could skate. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Booyakasha, Margot Robbie. <laughs> Do I even need to say anything about this pick? She's enigmatic. She's electric. Margo's going at my two. Never gotten the co-star next to George Clooney, so I'm excited to see their chemistry develop throughout the year. All right, let's see who I get. Wow. This is Jackie Chan. A coach's dream. Oh my gosh, the speed, the agility, the skill set, unmatched. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely going to be my point guard. Does his own stunts, is gonna be able to draw fouls, get physical, uh -huh. but he's gonna absolutely break ankles, literally. Oh. Oh my gosh, you got Megan Fox. Obviously gonna fill out my backcourt here. I got <laughs> Megan Fox and Margot at the one and two. <laughs> Your backcourt is strong. Yeah, <laughs> I'd say so, Riley. Not a lot of people know this. Electric speed on this woman. Her crossover, 
just lightning quick. And I know when this team faces adversity during the season, Megan's spirituality and esoteric view on the world is gonna help pull us out and get us back to the place we need to win a championship. Well, it's not gonna be up to the team, it's gonna be up to the crystals if Megan Fox has anything to say about it. Absolutely, and I'm fine with that. <laughs> All right. Oh wow. my gosh, I got my boy, Nicolas Cage. Wow. <laughs> now, the height on Nicolas Cage is going to be a factor. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, no matter where I put it. A lot of people wouldn't put Nicolas Cage up against George Clooney. Me, I'm different. Yeah. I'm putting Nicolas Cage at my three. A lot of height at the three, but I think he can guard George. Mm -hmm. I worry about putting him at the five because I don't think he's going to get a lot of calls. Not a lot of convincing performances. <laughs> uh, some some, <laughs> some over-the-top performances from Nicolas Cage. And stole the Declaration of Independence. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah That's so going to be big. You could probably steal a title. Now, jerseys. I've never been a fan of the jersey. I, I prefer to practice naked. I think uh, getting down to the basic human form and barefoot, you know, barebacked. <laughs> yeah. And, Draining threes from 40 feet. I mean, that's really... You now, Jackie, I encourage you to join me for one of these late night sessions, you know. I need a front court here. Oh, yeah. I got Denzel Washington. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like getting a second coach. I mean, the power <laughs> this guy's gonna bring to the team is just amazing. That really pulls the whole team together. Yeah. I'm scared now. I'm <laughs> gonna put Denzel at my four, and I want you and everyone else in the arena to pray for Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, you oh. can fucking forget about it. I got Jonah Hill on my team. Now, a lot of people would be disappointed with this. He is short, and he's not that quick. I'm gonna put him at my two, because he is short, and I, like I think he can shoot a lot better than people think. I like he's that. a director. He's a director as well. Yeah, he's yeah. a director. Yeah. And Christopher Walken was in his movie, Mid-90s. Yeah. So they're gonna have a lot of chemistry already yeah. built in. Here we go. Give me that big honking five. And I got him. The Fresh Prince himself. I got Will fucking Smith. Wow. Do I want to jostle my lineup around? No. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> there might not be a better celebrity hooper on this wheel. Oh, no. He's got a history with basketball. This guy can do it. Yeah. Well, how's the song go? Shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys, they were up to no good. They started making trouble in my neighborhood. It was Nicolas Cage and Christopher Walker. Yeah. This is a coach's dream. I got Will and Denzel down in the front court with Megan and Margot kind of backing it up in the back. And George right there in the happy center. I'm noticing a bit of an issue. What's that? Margot Robbie and Will Smith. They had an amazing chemistry. Uh, yeah, a little too much chemistry. I worry about some drama in the locker room. And Will Smith has had his fair share of problems demeanor-wise. I understand as my adversary here that you you might try and fill my head with these toxic thoughts, but I think the idea of those two having sex in the locker room <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> The idea of Denzel, George, and Megan watching, maybe while Megan burns incense, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a center. Oh, you got Oh him. my gosh, I got Bill fucking Murray? <laughs> Well, I love the idea of two veterans in the front court. I am gonna do some maneuvering here. Okay. okay I'm gonna put Bill Murray at my three and move Nicolas Cage down to my five. That makes sense. I think the height in the front court is gonna be more useful than that veteran wisdom. <laughs> Bill Murray, famously in Space Jam. So he's been around basketballs. Yeah. All right, so these are our final lineups for our Celebrity All-Star Game. I've got Jackie Chan at the one. Yeah. That is a strong choice. Absolutely gonna burn Megan Fox. <laughs> yeah, probably. Like the incense she's burning in the locker room while watching her teammates have sex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Jonah Hill at the two. A bit of a weak point on the lineup, but I think he can really shoot. Mm -hmm. At the small forward, I got Bill Murray. Christopher Walken at the power forward. Yeah. <laughs> and then I've got Nicolas Cage at the five. Put him in the cage, they'll say. Like when he starts backing them down, put him in the cage. Put him in the cage. Yeah. My starting lineup, I got Megan Fox running the one, <laughs> doing spells. <laughs> I got Margot <laughs> Robbie at two, blasting the lights out. I got George Clooney at three, Denzel Washington at the four, and Will Smith at the five. So let us know, me or Graydon's team, down in the comment section. And now we're going to get on to zoo animals. Zoo. So I got first pick this time. Let's go. 
Oh boy, I got a bearded dragon. Now I'm not sure about skill set here, but intimidation is a huge factor on the court. I keep putting my first pick down at the four, yeah. but I think I'm gonna have to repeat that okay. here. I'm gonna put the bearded dragon at the four. Don't sleep on the fact that the bearded dragon has a little sensor on the back of its head that pretty much works as a third eye. So, Eyes in the back of his head. Literally. That's important. Court vision is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, the flamingo. Long, lean, three-point shooting machine. <laughs> Woo, the flamingo's like the prototypical three. This is Paul George, this is Kawhi Leonard, kind of all mixed together. I'm a little worried about balance. They stand on one leg. I know, that's an issue. You'd be able to back them down quite easily. Something you're sleeping on, the flamingo is a bird though, too. Oh yeah, flight. Flamingo's going at the three. I'm through the roof with this pick. Let's see what I got here. Holy shit, I got Gary the Snail. Gary the Snail's a zoo animal? <laughs> I, I don't know what. I, I somehow think this one would have migrated from the cartoon <laughs> game. Yes. But it is an animal. It is an animal. Oh, geez. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely a slug on the court. <laughs> so slow. This is not good anywhere. I'm going to put Gary the Snail at the three and just burn that position. I'm going to let the flamingo absolutely tear him apart. Wow. That is a tough <laughs> pick to get. That hurts, Riley. I got a 2D snail. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and it's another cold shooting night for Gary the Snail. <laughs> Just can't buy a bucket. His slump continues. <laughs> Hasn't scored a point yet this season. And once again, Gary is cherry picking, or as they're calling it this season, Gary picking. He cannot move down the court fast enough, so they just kind of keep him over there. Doesn't have the appendages to effectively guard anyone on the court. <laughs> Gary's been roasted several times tonight. Here's the flamingo driving by for an easy lay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh, I got the big gator. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, this thing, really, we don't know how big gators can grow. So as long as he's under contract with our team, we can expect him to report to training camp the next year bigger than he was the previous year. That's true. So that's an amazing quality. I see him going right at the four. Kind of an Al Horford type character. Go gator. A gator at the four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> kind of puts your lizard to shame. Yeah, I was going to say that's a really bad matchup for me. A bearded <laughs> dragon versus a gator. I mean, I am fucked. Dude. <laughs> Reptiles at the four is the theme. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Ooh, got I got them. a gorilla! That is gonna pull the team together. I'm putting the gorilla directly <laughs> at the five. Yeah. This guy is gonna beat up anybody. Yeah. I pray to God you do not draft an elephant. That's <laughs> all I can pray for. You got the best player in the draft, but you also are still working with Gary the Snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. All right. <laughs> all right, give me a good one here. Feeling a point guard. Okay, I think that's a pelican. Is that a pelican? Is it like a stork? It's a stork. Oh, it's a stork. Yeah. That's a stork? Okay. A troubling name for sure, but the chemistry that he's gonna have with his fellow bird, the flamingo, I think is gonna make for a really dynamic duo here. Now, I worry about extracurriculars with the stork here. The stork is going to have to deliver babies yeah. pretty often, yeah. and I honestly feel like that's gonna pull him away from practice and sometimes even miss away games. Yeah, that might be the case. The team's gonna save on some fuel, though. We'll be able to take a very small team plane because the flamingo and the stork can just handle their travel on their own. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> And they both have those beautiful long legs, which would look great in Jordans. <laughs> I'm gonna put the stork at the two and really just prey on that bird to bird chemistry. All right. Oh man, is this, a, what is this It's thing? a manatee. That's a manatee. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, I got a manatee, a water beast. This is gonna afford me the opportunity to kind of move my lineup around. Right. Okay, I'm gonna take the bearded dragon <laughs> off the gator and I'm gonna throw the manatee down there to get physical with the gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your front court has really shaped up here in the last couple of rounds. Yeah, that's true. A manatee and a gorilla? You got a gorilla of the sea and a gorilla of the land. I always thought the bearded dragon at four was kind of the wrong play, so I'm glad to see see you able to adjust. Thank you. I don't need any judgment from you though. This is my team. Understood. Okay. All right. Still looking for that point guard or that big five to match up with the gorilla. Oh, I got a little river otter. Yep. 
Okay, the thing I know about river otters, well, actually, I know a lot of things about <laughs> river otters, but they can use tools, unlike a lot of other mammals. Yeah. They'll use little rocks to crack those clams. They play with each other. They have fun. I think it's an obvious choice for my one. He's got thumbs, I believe, extra little appendages. Those little hands are going to be able to control the ball. He's not going to turn it over a lot. Yeah. So yeah, river otter, obvious one. You still have yet to find your one, so I'm hoping this is the mismatch I can exploit. All right. Right. Yes. Oh man, I got a platypus. Yes. <laughs> okay. You ever even seen one of those things in real life? No. Yeah, I'm not sure they exist. Yeah, it seems like somebody just kind of mashed up a beaver and a duck and said, here's an animal, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, forgot the poison. Better add that to it. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just, I have no choice here. I'm going to put a platypus at the one. I'm going to see what it can do. I won't really know until it shows up to training camp what I'm dealing with. But um, I, I'm left with no choice. I didn't really get a great point guard out of this draft. And so this might be a rebuilding year. Yeah, <laughs> you might be looking for a draft pick. Your last pick. Let's see what you got. Big body, big body. The elephant. I got the great <laughs> elephant himself. The memory. Huge body down low, but let's not forget what that trunk can do. Lay. In the trunk dunk. Don't forget, uh, don't sleep on the trunk dunk. Big trunk dunk. Puts the whole thing in the hoop. <laughs> yeah, it's like a cookie jar. Mm -hmm. And he can do that thing where he leans down on his front legs. The river otter climbs up on top of him. He stands up, launches it into the air yeah. for a finish. Well, uh, I had a good feeling, and yeah. then I lost that feeling. Mm -hmm. I've got a platypus at the one, a bearded dragon at the two. I've got Gary the snail of SpongeBob fame at the three. <laughs> I've also got a manatee at the power forward, which is good, yeah. and a gorilla at the five which was great until you picked an elephant. <laughs> All right, and my lineup's looking like uh, the crafty river otter at one. I have the stork at two, a flamingo at three, kind of bird gang right there, gator down at the four, and the giant himself, the elephant at the five. So let us know which team you think would win this one, <laughs> minor gradients, before we get into our last category, which is household items, inanimate objects engaging in an athletic contest. Coach, none of the players showed up. All we got's the janitor's closet. <laughs> it's kind of like a brave little toaster meets Space Jam. Yes. That's what we're doing here. <laughs> you get the first pick here. Yes. Today we will know who the better coach is. Yes. With your first pick, you get... Ooh, the ceiling fan. The thing about this guy is he gets a lot of reps in. Kind of a one-trick pony on the court. Endurance, though. Endurance and that breeze. That's going to keep my team nice and cool. Problem is, though, when somebody's too much of a fan, it's hard to also be a star player. Might uh, get starstruck by the other players. That's true. Always on the ceiling, though, high up, I'm putting him at the five. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh. Well, ceiling fans usually are in the center, so. All right. <laughs> Oh man, I got the fork. Now I'm gonna put the fork at the two. Okay, small but useful. That's all you really need to say. That's an item every household has, everyone uses, everyone loves. Yeah. All right. Come on, give me a Roomba. Oh, close. I got a good old fashioned broom. Obviously, gotta go with the four. Gonna do a lot of cleaning up of the glass. Absolutely, yeah. Just. <laughs> And if we get into the playoffs in a seven game series type scenario, you gotta look out for the sweep. Yep. Ooh. Oh man, I got an iron. Now, irons appear small, but when mm. they pick up steam, they're really good on the boards. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna put this thing at my four. Okay, Absolutely, get, let's get him hot down low. Mm -hmm. Obviously, what do you put in an iron? Water. Kick it out to him in the corner, he's gonna hit a three for yeah. you. But he's a great power forward. Here we go. Oh my. Is that what I think it is? That's the Holy Bible. <laughs> is that the Lord's word right there on the screen? Yes, it is. I mean, pretty much had a role in leading every team that's ever won a championship in any sport ever. What do they do when they win? Fucking thank God. That's Point what you, to the sky. That's what you fucking do. Yeah. I mean, the Bible's the one. The Bible's everything. I can't even start to begin to tell you what it means to me personally. Yeah, I know that. Can I give you some of my favorite verses? No. Johnson 22, one. You reach... I teach. Was that a reading from Magic Johnson? Yeah, 22-1. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. The Holy Bible is my one. Good luck, Riley. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, man, I got a dishwasher. Oh. A big honking dishwasher. This is one of the bigger household items, okay? Yeah. I mean, talk about cleaning glass. Yeah, I mean, the, it makes the broom look like a pedestrian. <laughs> and it's got the forks back. Yeah, the fork in the dishwasher. 
Okay, I got a tennis racket. Interesting. It's a household item, I guess. I guess this is a household item. It's yeah. also used to play a different sport. Yeah, I did not see this one coming, so <laughs> forgive me if I'm a little blindsided here. For whatever reason, I feel like he's got to be a two. I mean, he's got handles. He's kind of like a wicker chair meets a waffle fry, um, but he's spring loaded. He's got a lot. He's gonna. He's got bunnies. It's gonna be hard to fit him in here on the team, but I think with the Bible supervision, this racket's gonna end up being an all-star quality shooting guard. All right. Oh. Oh my gosh, I got hand soap. <laughs> I mean, this chemistry is getting crazy. I know. I mean, what a clean style of play. <laughs> Squeaky clean. I've got an iron, a dishwasher, a fork, and hand soap. There's not a wrinkle or a fleck of grease or food in sight. And obviously going to be great at defense, defense against germs and bacteria. And listen, if the dishwasher's locked up down low, hand soap gonna help the fork out. Sometimes you gotta take a little hand soap, clean off the fork, and use it for your next meal, because the dishwasher's running. Yeah. Last pick for you. Yeah, we're both looking for threes. Oh, and I got him. I got the room lamp. When you're out there looking for a small forward in your house, and you're just looking at the items in your house, and there's no people or basketball players in your house, <laughs> you look right to that standing floor lamp. <laughs> right. <laughs> the one you rarely turn on. It's a classic pick. He's going to fit seamlessly in. He's going to have great chemistry with the broom. He's good friends with the ceiling fan. Um, I'm still worried about the tennis rackets. <laughs> Got a whole role in this. Yeah. But when you're worried as a coach, you put your faith in God. And I have that word right there running my offense at one. Light him up. All right, here we go. Wow. And I mean, this is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> this all works too well. I can't believe it. Yeah. I, I got the hive mind plate. Yeah. <laughs> you would think that we planned this as no. the last pick, but we did not. Now, who would I be if I didn't use this as an excuse to plug? Cove's <laughs> website is linked in our description. You can literally buy this hive mind plate right now. Yeah. It's actually a full set. It comes with a fork. It comes with a spoon. It comes with a knife. Yeah. And it comes in a great collectible package. Now, back to the game. I've got a plate, a fork, and a dishwasher. I mean, team chemistry is off the charts here. <laughs> Yeah. And you want a plate at your three. You do. <laughs> yeah, you do. I don't know why. I, no, it makes perfect sense to me. Popovich actually put a plate at the three when he was bringing Manu off the bench. I'm going to put the hive mind plate at the three, dishing out to the corners yeah. to our guards. <laughs> I'm just going to take this L because my team of misfits doesn't stand a chance <laughs> against this kitchen nightmare you've assembled <laughs> over there. Either way, you let us know who wins the household items basketball game. And please let us know what we should make teams out of next. We definitely want to do this again. It's super fun for us yes. to do. We hope we got some sports fans, some music fans, and some just regular old hive mind fans in mm -hmm. here. But let us know if you like it. Hit the comments. Let us know who made the better teams for each round. Uh, other than that, like the video, subscribe, all the stuff I said at the beginning, and great, and please leave these wonderful people with some advice to leave or live their lives by? For what gives light must endure burning. All right, this has been I My TV. We love you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next game. You know what platform I want to run on? What? I don't know yet. What? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I didn't really give it much thought. So you just said that? Yeah, I was just seeing if you were interested in voting for me, I guess. I'd have to hear the platform, for sure. Yeah, but if, I mean, if you're interested in hearing that, I mean, that's a good start. I guess. I mean, you, if somebody sitting right next to me says, do you know what platform I'm going to run on? <laughs> yeah. I'll at least hear what they have to say. You know what I'm going to do that's way different than every politician that's ever ran for political office before? What? I don't know yet. Still kind of working that out. Hmm, it's kind of gauging interest, I guess. Yeah, I'll do I'll do something different for sure. Okay, any ideas? Not yet. So your idea so far is to be different and yeah. come up with a platform. Yeah, that's what you're running on right now. A new platform. Not really convincing me to vote for you and blame China. <laughs> See, that's not really different. Make China do all the hard work. That's also not different. That's pretty much everybody so far. Stop gay. That's also that's most of the most of the presidents have done that. Go gay. Eh, one president did that. Okay. Oh wait a minute, you could be white. I could. Oh wait. Be. Oh, oh no, yeah. Everybody except for one has done that so far. Oh. You could be old. No. Oh, that's most yeah, of them. Yeah, it's been done. Uh huh. Man. Ma oh. Oh wait a minute. I think no. Yeah, that's been done uh. a bunch actually. Honest man. That's never been done, actually. <laughs> that is a new platform. That's my new platform. Honesty. Yeah. You, uh, I don't know if you're the guy for it. No. Yeah, no. <laughs>